All right, friends, we are back in business here. I am Curtis Robinson, and this is Magnus. Look at that guy, man. What a freaking mountain of muscle he is. And he's a lot of fun to play. Okay, so we are going to go and harass a very, very large thresher. And we'll tell you that I'm going to come over here and loot, get a little bit of ammunition, but try not to uh, get crushed by any of these crates that are coming down. See these crates coming down at all times? I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> but anyways, if they land on you, they will squish you flat. It just sucks. <clears throat> now, alright, I'm going to be fighting something that's going to be pretty stinking tough. So, um, maybe that. Eh. Let's do that and that. Get that out of the way. Hmm. Don't have anything that's super awesomely good, so I'll just use what I have. Hey, yep, I have a pistol and I have a rifle, and then I have that. Okay, it is what it is. So again, this thing is a giant stinking thresher. It will mangle you, so uh, you want to run. And see it kind of coming up there. Now, you can throw out a couple of these grenades and weaken it. And there it goes. See, did you notice that it completely recharged its health? Totally did not die. It's swacking me. Alright, let's get on this. And let's keep running. Make space, guys. Make space. He's big. You do not need to be fiddling with this guy. Got him. All right. Well, that was super easy. I think because I threw three grenades and really weakened it, um, but it recharges its uh, it recharges its shield every stinking time it goes underground. Kind of made that look easy. That was kind of anticlimactic. I gotta be honest. All right. Thanks to mining operations, the people of from the have to swipe that down a little bit. That was a phone call that I did not need to take. Probably spam. All right. I did go up. Let's take a minute and do that. <clears throat> I could start getting fire rate. That gives me shield recharge delay also. We've got enough of that going on there. I usually put it here. There's, if I did explosive, that's pretty handy there. And this isn't as good as you might think it is. You get to run around a little faster and blow people up with dynamite. Um, it's good for catching guys that are runners, but I don't know. Probably not going to do that. All right, melee damage, shotgun damage. All right. Ooh, five for your life plus 50 seconds, or plus 50 percent makes you live a little longer while you're trying to recover. Uh, hmm. Yeah, okay. Let's do that. Forgot about that. I don't know I put a lot of points into things that I can't use most of the time, like kill skills. Eh, yeah, rarely do I put a ton of... Um, rarely do I put a lot of points into a kill skill. So kind of look at the kill skills as you have to kill somebody for anything to happen with that ability. If you don't kill anybody, and the first guy that you're fighting, you don't get anything for that. Hey, Jack Dead, no, he's not the hero. What a donk. Whatever, Jack. You're a punk. Yeah, you're gonna totally die. How about that? Smart guy. So I just like to kill these uh, little turrets. We gotta come back here later, but anything that shoots at me gets shot back at. 
Here we go. And watch out for that bump. Yeah, that's the one. Gets me every time. Alright, now you can fight if you want to, but I'm going straight to overlook. Ooh, almost went on the edge there. <laughs> By the way, I don't go anywhere at half or half speed. It's always full speed. So you gotta get good at driving the car. Overlook. Yay! Yes, Mordecai. Yes, Everybody there has got the skull shivers thanks to Jack's mining operations. The poor bastards are too sick to leave their homes. You'll want to set up the beacon over there. Once the moon base processes our request, eight minutes. You should have a fast travel station. All right, guys, I got to put the beacon there. Then I'm going to go back and I'm going to start shooting things from my car. Remember how powerful the car is? Kind of like having a built-in shield. Then I'll come back and I'll do some other stuff. But all of the bad guys in the beginning it's who eat up your ammunition are going to get landed right here. Angel, that's enough. You can stop pretending to help the bad guys now. Angel? Alright. Watch and be amazed. Oh look, how did I know he was going to be there to start shooting these guys? Alright. And they go down pretty quick. Missed one. They okay, got him. See, I'm just smoking him. I right, know there's a couple of them I can't get to, so they're gonna go get my uh, beacon. I'm gonna have to go and save the beacon. Don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. The beacon can be fixed multiple times. It's not the end of the world. I got unlimited ammunition, so I'm just hacking through guys. I'm only getting about 13 experience for these guys, anyways. All right, bail out and take care of these bucket heads shooting my beacon. I need to drown in the blood. A calibrated fast travel station request received. Estimated processing time: three to six weeks. Three to six weeks. That seems no, like a long no, time. No, no. Bump me up in the queue. Yeah, do that. Let me kill this guy here. Kill those guys. Oh, he's gonna get the thing. And he got. Oh, run, run! Now let's go reset the travel, the uh, fast travel station beacon, and get back to fighting. That guy, get him. Oh, I can't get that guy right now. Yeah, I can. Here he comes. Got him. Yeah. Someone is after me. I got too close to a stupid exploding thing. Don't worry about those exploders. Kill the shooters. Out of ammunition. That stinks. Gotta get out of ammunition so quickly. Kill that guy. He's a healer. Ooh, let's chop this guy. Let's reset the fast travel beacon. Too easy. Alright. Small break. Alright, let's get back in here. Uh oh, there he is. That's what I was looking for. Oh, do I get lucky and kill him early? <laughs> That's awesome. See, guys, if you kind of get the idea of when to use your vehicle, when to be out, that makes this mission so much more manageable. All right, 
Let's see, you gotta defend the beacon still. Looks like it's doing good enough to me. Let's go pop pop pop. Let's finish this guy. And I got two more guys. Reload. There is some guys behind me. Alright, don't get crazy. Let's reload up on that. Right, so my axe is not as effective against bots, but it's going to work, more or less. I threw it up there, got hit that guy. Let's reset the beacon. Let's reload the ammo. I think the bat, the bot, the uh, super bots are coming. I just shut off the main basis oxygen supply. I expect the engineers will launch a fast travel station. See, my guys might be wondering why I'm using this particular gun. I could be using any other gun. All right, that's a good. When he says he's sending everything, Jack doesn't really fool around. I don't like him, but he's a man of his word. Kill this guy. Shoot the arms off. Hide. And shoot the arms off. All right, they're gonna blow up the beacon. Not a big deal. Kill this guy. Come on, Jack. What else you got, man? Send your best. Pop, pop, pop him. Pop, pop, pop him. Reload. They're launching the fast travel station now. Nothing gets results like a death threat. Nice. I do kind of. It's almost here. Just protect the beacon for another few seconds. Come on. The fast travel has landed. Give me a second while I calibrate to Sanctuary's new position. Yeah, you calibrate it, girl. Do that. Meanwhile, I'm going to sell some stuff. I got two minutes to spare. Crushed him. Go quickly. Use the yeah, go quickly. She said go quickly. Oh, this is junk. That's still good. Eh, I'll get rid of that. I probably should not have. I better buy that back. I might need it later. Hyperion, congratulate yep. Harriet Let's go pick up the rest of this stuff. And we'll be done with this particular mission. We get to go back to Sanctuary. So do you guys see how I did that? This is not a very difficult mission unless you decide to just stand out in the open and fight the bots. Mono e mano. Not smart. Do what I do. Use the vehicle. That just makes sense. Nobody taught me that, by the way. I figured that on my own. Usually, uh, you figure things out <laughs> by making bad mistakes. So, I've played this mission dozens of times before uh, with the wife. She usually plays the siren, sometimes Mechromancer. And we have a good time together. By the way, you should do that also. Find a good friend, get on Borderlands, and uh, have a blast. It's really a good game. I will tell you that... Uh, if I had somebody to play with right now, I'd be doing co-op. Co-op is amazingly fun. All right, and there is Sanctuary. And that is all we have for the moment. I'll catch up with you guys soon. Peace.